everyone. I'm Elaine Beck, and this is my show, It's Not About Us. And as you know, we like to talk about the good things that are happening in the country. Of course, we touch on the difficult times and the seriousness of things, but we're going to talk about what God is doing to save this country. And we have a very special guest tonight. We have Mrs. Trump. I love that, Laura. <laughs> oh, thank you. And, um, you know, I, I like to get into a little bit of the personal lives of the people in a very friendly, fun way. So would you like to share with my audience what it's like to be a Mrs. Trump? Oh, <laughs> well, I can tell you it's it's a, uh, a last name that I never would have guessed I would have. Right. And um, it's amazing because I can... I, I really say that because I came from probably a background like a lot of Americans. I grew up in a small town. My parents were small business owners, you know, middle class family. I had right. everything I ever need, not needed, not everything I ever wanted. Um, and then I moved to New York and I met a guy named Eric Trump. And then obviously the rest is history. But the incredible thing to me is that when I first met my father-in-law, my husband in, in true Eric Trump fashion did not tell me I was going to meet his dad the day that I did. <laughs> and, yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, the outfit, the whole thing, I would have looked different. Right. Um, and you get nervous meeting someone's parent who you might be dating, a possible future in-law. Sure. When their last name is Trump and their name is Donald Trump, that's, that's very intimidating. So I was like, oh, what do I do? Instantly, when I first met my father-in-law, he treated me with such uh, respect and kindness. And he was so humble, actually, for the man that I thought I was about to meet and funny and warm right, and down right. to earth. And um, it really showed me very, very early from the very beginning who this man is and truly who this family is. And so to have the last name Trump is an honor. Right. And and I I don't take it lightly. Um, I, I want to be a great representative for this family. And I just, I, I couldn't say enough about how special it is to be a part of this family. And, and at a time like right now, when this country so badly needs this man, my father-in-law. Absolutely. So it's, it's my honor, truly, to have the last name Trump. Right. Well, it's really easy for me to ask that because I was in a similar circumstance in that my life completely changed. And I went from a different lifestyle to a grander lifestyle and that type of thing. And still to this day, Laura, I there's days that it's still so surreal. Do you ever know, feel that at all? Oh, every day. Yeah. I have to look around and I say, what? What is it? What is going on? <laughs> right. How did I end up here? I mean, look, it would have been enough to have the last name Trump. And then to become part of the first family. Right. Incredible. I mean, whoever thinks that that's going to happen right. to them. Right. And I, I always say it's fine. I probably shouldn't, but this is the way I feel. Like, I have no business being a Trump. I don't know how <laughs> I ended up here. Honestly, I have to give credit to God, to the Almighty. Because he has plans for us that we don't know. Amen. And they always say, if you if you want to laugh, tell God what you're going to do. And, and that'll be a, the jokes on you because he always knows. And I have consistently throughout my life try to follow my instinct. And by that, I mean, I think it's what God has called me to do. Right, and right. sometimes it's been very scary and I've had to walk through doors and not know really like what awaits me on the other side. Yeah, that's right. But I know that if, if God is on my side and with me and he is telling me this is what I should do, it's what I should do. And I can't give you any other explanation as to how I ended up here. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. And we're so glad that you're on the show and and we're in a very special time right now. Here we are. Uh, we're in um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin yes. for a great week. Uh, it started out very scary, for especially for the family. Uh, I can't even imagine what it was like to get the first initial word that something happened to your father-in-law. And did you get to know right away he was okay? I mean... Well, we watched, we watched it in real time. Oh. Eric and I had the rally on and we actually had our, our kids with us. Oh, and, wow. uh, you know, immediately we said something is wrong. And so I, I quickly turned the channel in, in the room for the kids and Eric and I went in another room 
and he was still on the ground. And I mean, it felt like an eternity. I, sure. I know it was, it was not, you know, but, but several, you know, 20 seconds or so it felt forever. And then, you know, for him to stand up and put his fist up like that, I said, okay, it seems like he's okay, but you don't know until you know. And we really didn't know until we talked to him in the hospital, um, you know, 20 minutes or so later. And, and I knew he was okay when he started joking with us. And I said, okay, <laughs> that's Donald Trump. I know he's joking. He's okay. Right. But you know, there, there's a moment where that's you, right. you, you just don't know. And, and honestly, the idea that this man turned his head and it made the difference between life or death for him. Yes. I, I honestly can't even let myself go there, but it is, it is true that God performs miracles. And we saw one in real time on television, on our TV screens on Saturday at that rally. I believe that when we face moments like that in our life and we see God's hand, when we feel it, when we, when we know that you're on the precipice and yet God pulled you back, that that's him talking to us yes, and reminding us who's really in charge. Exactly. And, and helping us to appreciate more what we really have and just waking up in the morning and uh, knowing that you know, tomorrow is another day and God starts everything new every day, doesn't he? Yep, he yeah. sure does. Yeah. And I think I think if you ask Donald Trump, I don't think you go through an experience like that and, and not be touched and changed by it in some ways. And, and I think I truly think he has been. And I it, saw it already. Yes. And I think it's I think it's going to be the thing that unifies this country. And I know it, I sounds, too. it sounds very bold to say something like that right now, but I, I feel it. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think a lot of people feel it and you can see that like, you can see it on his face. Right. Absolutely. It's, it's a, God has given us this time and this moment and he has allowed Donald Trump to live so that he can lead this country. Once again, I truly believe it. And I believe that all Americans will come to understand that this is a man who is not fighting for himself, not just fighting for Republicans. He's fighting for every single American citizen. Yes, he is. Laura, you know, uh, you have a, a little family. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the kids? Yeah. So I have a four-year-old daughter. Her name is Carolina. I have a six-year-old son. His name is Luke. And I have I have dogs. I'm a do crazy dog lady. I have Charlie. He's a 14-year-old beagle. Ben, he's like 10 years old. Maybe we had, we had rescued him from a bad situation. So we don't really know. He's a big hound. And then we, we sometimes have my, my late mother-in-law's dog. Right. We, we rotate him around. His name is Tiger. And so <laughs> there are always a lot of kids and dogs in my house. It's, it's so amazing. Sometimes it's messy, but I wouldn't, I could never imagine the blessings that God has shown me. And, and truly being a mom is the most important title I have ever had and will ever have. Yes, this is true. Yeah. I know because I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. I'm a grandma. Mm -hmm. I'm a great grandma. Oh, my gosh. And so as you progress through those seasons of your life, it just gets better. Oh, I love that. That's great. <laughs> we love it that. It does. And the joy that the children brought and then the grandchildren, the great grandchildren, it's a never ending thing. And that's why I'm so proud of President Trump. And all the things that he has stood for, particularly the family and appreciating life in the womb to the tomb and knowing that, you know, he he does. I I saw the looks on his face tonight at the event as different people got up and told their stories about losing family and 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 being in a, a war zone and. And just the love that you could see on his face and the respect that he had for each and every person. And the very first time that I met President Trump was just six months after I'd lost my husband. Oh, wow. And when I shared that with him, all of a sudden, just talking to him, he made me feel like I was the only person on earth, let alone in the room. And he focused on 
you know, what it meant to me and what, what was happening in my life. And he's got that way with him because he truly is a man of God. Yes. And he, and he truly, he truly understands that everybody has something special to give. And, and he's so good at pulling that out of you. Absolutely. You know? Yes. And, uh, so we're very blessed to have him and I feel blessed to get a chance to actually interview you finally. Oh, thank I've you. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. And so it's very special to get someone like you who, uh, can give us a different perspective. You know, um, I live in an, a sort of a, my own little bubble, uh, because of my lifestyle and my show and everything. And, you know, I was a housekeeper for years. Oh, wow. And that's how I raised my kids myself. Uh -huh. And so I live in a surreal world myself. So I love to talk to other people. And because each of us have a unique life that God gave us. That's right. You know, so thank you for being on my show. Any special messages you'd like to give to the people out there today? Oh, wow. I would just say, listen, I think that um, God has shown us that he's in this election. He has his hand on Donald Trump. And we do have to trust in him. But we also have to get out and earn it and work for it. That's and right. One of the roles I have, one of the titles I have alongside mom is co-chair of the RNC. Right. And so... I need to make sure Donald Trump indeed wins this election no Amen. matter what. Amen. We have a huge election integrity push. We are going to stop the cheating, make sure that that is finally taken care of. But we need everybody to get involved and everybody can contribute. We want people to identify several of your friends who you know would vote for Donald Trump and vote for Republicans, but maybe they don't always vote in every election. You need to take them to go vote this election cycle. You can't sit it out. Everybody can have a role to play and everybody should have a role to play. So I would just say, be part of the team. Come right. join us and let's win this election so that Donald Trump can truly make America great again for all you of know, us. I have suggested to my audience many times that election day should be a party day. It should be a day where you get together with your garden club, your card club, your church uh, friends, your Bible study group, anybody you want. All of you get together. You go to the poll together. Yes. You have yeah. lunch together. You celebrate that you know that the, the, by the end of the day, we're going to see success. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you can't do that, get together with your family, plan an, an evening dinner of celebrating. Did everybody go vote? Did everybody do the right thing today? You know? Teach your children through this, the little ones even. Yeah, it's no, a they're special watching us. Day. It's they're a watching. special day. Right. This is a day when you get to choose how your life will progress, how you honor God and how you honor your country. Amen. You know? Yes. Get your, your homeschool group together. Teach those children. Take them with you. Go vote. That's right? it. Go vote. Make a plan, whether it's mailing it in, early voting, or voting on election day. That's right. They are all safe ways to vote. Donald Trump himself has said that. We are ensuring that from the RNC. But make a plan. Make it a party. I like That's that. Right. And go vote. That's right. Yes. Well, God bless you, and thank, thank you, you for being here thank and you doing very my much. show with me. It's my honor. Thank you. Well, thank you, sweetie. And God bless all of you. As you know, I pray for you always. I care about all the people in this country. And we really appreciate you coming to see us. So look up wearenotenemies.com. Don't forget that. We're still praying for our enemies. And always remember, we love you. Pray for us too. Thank you.